Indiana law does not define what consent is, but a state lawmaker wants to change that and better define what rape actually is. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny has been tracking this issue for years and joins us now with the new action underway at the state house. A state lawmaker has filed House Bill 1079. It says during sexual activity, you can deny consent either through your words or your actions. Representative Sharon Nagel represents eight counties, including parts of Tippecanoe and Montgomery. As a woman lawmaker, she feels it's her duty to address the issue of rape. Typically, it is a woman that's raped. I need to stand up for all women in this scenario. Currently, Indiana law says it's rape if the perpetrator has to use force or the threat of force, or if the victim is unaware of what's happening or they can't consent due to a disability. Nagel filed House Bill 1079, which says rape is also when a victim expresses a lack of consent, either through words or their conduct, such as trying to get away. For example, if a woman is, is pulling her clothes back on, trying to avoid uh, this physical confrontation. In other words, there's more than one way to say no, and you're trying to put that in Indiana law. Through action or words. Haley Rigger with the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking says changes to Indiana rape law are long overdue. States like Colorado, California, Florida, Minnesota, and neighboring Illinois all define consent. Currently, there is not a legal definition of consent in our Indiana code. That can be really complicated for prosecutors as well as investigators and the survivors who may not see their experience reflected in law. Nagel's bill is expected to help Indiana juries better decide whether a situation was rape or not. The burden of proof is still on the prosecutor to uh, demonstrate um, that this was a case of non-consent. So there's still quite a high burden of proof for prosecutors. Um, this is just going to enable them to maybe find more justice for survivors. The legislation has the support of Carmel mother Stephanie Stewart. We first introduced you to her in October. I was just in shock, complete shock. She says a salesman sexually assaulted her in her home but was not criminally charged. She said that they were not going to prosecute. And I immediately just started sobbing because, you know, I don't, not one to cry, but that was just so shocking to me. And I was so devastated and disappointed. Nagel's bill would also make it a crime to commit rape by impersonation or pretending to be someone's consensual partner. Nagel drafted the bill after learning of a 2017 Purdue case in which a man pretended to be the victim's boyfriend and he was later acquitted of rape. This is a, a lifelong scar that many women have to live with, and it's time for us to make sure that they feel confident to go to court, um, that the, the uh, law is behind them, and they are well protected. This bill has been assigned the Courts and Criminal Code Committee, and Representative Nagel is hopeful it will get a hearing this year. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. Now, the bill has the support of the Indiana Prosecuting Attorneys Council, who told us, quote, we are planning to testify in support next week when the bill is heard. Representative Nagel has done a tremendous amount of research on this bill and topic, and we believe this is the best way for Indiana to define consent. End quote. We've also reached out to the Public Defenders Council, and we are still waiting to hear back.